All right, here's video number three. Now you should have already gotten all of your diamonds together and we're just going to do the end. Now we've done it once, but I'll remind you. So you come up to the, the point and you move your needle and thread out to the center hole at the very, very top. We're going to add three seed beads, one duo, and three seed beads and go back around the opposite side so it makes a loop. We're then going to work the needle up those seed beads, back through the duo, and out the top of the duo. Make sure it's nice and tight. I'm going to pick up seven seed beads. And go back through it the opposite way so it makes a loop. And I like to support it with an extra strand. You don't have to. It's again six pound fire line. It's just one of those things that I always do. Okay, pull that tight, come back down, move my needle through the seed beads, back down, make sure it's ensuring it's tight, and we're going to tie this one off. By the way, if your bottom to top doesn't work, you can also actually put your needle through on this stitch and back up and like do it manually, I guess, instead of trying to, to skip that step. The big thing is, is if you notice I keep moving my fingers, try not to poke yourself. Although my husband is very proud to say that, and I am too, that most of my creations have not only my sweat and tears, but some of my blood in them too. <laughs> Oftentimes the needles that we use in bead weaving are just as sharp on the back end as they are on the front and sometimes it's the back that gets me, not the front. And yes, if you notice, this is one thing I get commented on all the time when I'm doing demonstrations or classes, I do wear nails. I have worn nails since I was 16. I have a deficiency and my nails actually just skin off and, and flake off. And so I have been wearing either overlays or actual nails since I was about 16. And so for me, this is very, very normal. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our jump rings. I already pre-made a little chain. going to slip it on to one end or the other. If I have it open wide enough, there it goes. Close it. Again, this is called a jump ring ring. Open the other end. Add in a clasp. Put it through the opening and close it and we have our bracelet okay the next step I'm going to show you is the earrings I know this one was short but I just wanted to show you the finishing off on it and I will be right back with your earrings